Yes. We're live everywhere once again, broadcasting to the entire world, which means it is safe to play the music. From the studio, in the bonus room, above the garage, on the north side of Cary, sequestered at the foot of Mount Belzoni, this is the Triangle Talk Show. Episode 84. It's politics once again. April 16th, 2020. I'm a Republican? Apparently. Apparently, I'm a Republican. I wasn't aware. Well, actually, from a lot of the mail that I've been getting, I've been aware of this for some time, but some new mail came in that I thought would be fun to share with you. I'm uh, Gary Pierce, Republican. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. So I got, I got this in the mail. The uh, emergency campaign reply from the Republican National Committee. They want me to send them some money and they want me to do it by, oh, April 6th. Today is the 16th. I'm a little bit late. Came along with this heartfelt letter by Lindsey Graham. And now I, I've attempted to structure this program so that it's relatively easy to do. Uh, studio interviews, these days not so much. Skype interviews, you know, stuff done online. Just bring people on, talk to them, put it in the can. Done. And uh, not a lot of editing and not a lot of uh, extra work because... I'm the staff. There's nobody around here to do it. And if I'm going to get very many of them out, it's got to be done that way. Uh, once in a while, I'll write a script for a program, uh, sometimes of absolute full script all the way through, sometimes just bullet points. Uh, and those programs tend to go better because they don't ramble so much. Um, but I don't get to do that very often because it's usually, a, you know, it's a day or two days which for me is like four hours, <laughs> two hours a day for two days. Just being honest, truth in advertising, uh, to get the script written and then, uh, and then perform it. And I usually don't have that much time. What, it's nice when someone does it for me. <laughs> Lindsey Graham wrote the script for me. So I thought you'd enjoy hearing what this has to say. It's, enter it's entertaining at the least. Uh, it's Dateline Monday morning. Well, since it came with a request to send them money by April 6th, probably not last Monday. But it, it's really pretty evergreen. Um, should I try a Lindsey Graham impression? Probably not, because I don't think anybody knows what Lindsey Graham sounds like, even if you live in South Carolina. He's the South Carolina governor. Uh, one line worth. If there's ever been a time in our nation's history when we Republicans must stand together, no, stand united, it is now. That's not too bad. What does he really sound like? I, I don't have anything from him to pull up, so I don't know. The f I'll do the rest of it as just me. The fate... I, when I did the show with Chris Teleska the uh, day before yesterday, I read his... Facebook post, and uh, which I thought I put a lot of emotion into, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, emphasis, um, a lot of passion, and he said, "No, nah, you didn't even come close." I'll try to I'll try to match the passion that was put into this, but I don't know if I can. The fate of our nation's freedom, security, and press. I should do it as Limbaugh. I can do a pretty good Limbaugh. The fate of our nation's freedom, security, and prosperity. Is at stake. I don't think I can keep that up for a whole letter. With the Democrats and the anti-Trump forces raging mad that Donald, uh, that Donald Trump is, is the president of the United States. We're raging mad just because he is. We are about to witness the fiercest, most costly presidential campaign in our nation's history. Well... I think you can say that about every presidential campaign as it's approaching, but I, I, I can't really argue <laughs> with that sentiment. The result of which, 
will either keep America on a path to greatness or see our country go down a devastating path to big government socialism. Da, da, da. I, okay, I'm speaking as Lindsey Graham. I, for one, will not stand by and watch the liberal Democrats continue their wholesale campaign to destroy our president so they can take complete control of our nation. Go play some Lindsey Graham. See how close I got. I don't actually, I don't think his Southern accent is that much. Mr. Pierce, and this is dead. This is written to me. Person, Cindy's closing the doors because I'm getting too noisy. Uh, this is this is written to me personally, dear Mr. Pierce. Mr. Pierce, I am determined to do whatever. Cindy's probably on a conference call with, uh, you know, business <laughs> in the next room, and here I am. The folks on the call are going. Who do you have in the background there, Lindsey Graham? Mr. Pierce, I am determined to do whatever I can to ensure Donald, and believe me, he is determined to do whatever he can, whatever, legal, ethical, whatever I can to, to ensure Donald Trump is reelected the 45th president of the United States. And I've asked the Republican National Committee, RNC, the one political committee that can provide substantial direct financial support to help President Trump. If I can write to you today, I've asked them, and if I can write to you today to urge you to make the same commitment. Again, that commitment is whatever you can. Whatever. We all would do that, wouldn't we? The only way we are going to be able to stand up to the Democrats' onslaught of destructive attacks and their massive fundraising machine while paving the way for President Trump's re-election and the election of all our Republican candidates in November is with a strong, well-funded RNC. That is why, and this is in bold, so now i got to really punch it up. That is why it is, sorry, Cindy, is critical that we act today to ensure the RNC meets its fundraising budget by raising $7.3 million in the next 21 days. I don't know if that began April 6th or, well, it, I mean, if it began April 6th, then we're still, we're still within, <laughs> within the time frame. We're okay. I, I'm pretty sure it didn't end April 6th. Okay, so we got... Still got a, a week or so to do this. Mr. Pierce. Meet me on camera three. Remember, remember uh, John, uh, uh, John, the um, Comedy Central guy. John, you know who I mean. Meet me on camera three. Mr. Pierce. This is an enormous challenge. And the RNC must have your help to meet this goal. So please, well, actually, this is underlined. I, should, I shouldn't be giving it the soft pedal. But please, I urge you to use the prepaid, pre-addressed USPS, primer, <laughs> USPS priority mail envelope. Two things have disrupted me here. First of all, I was going to then show the envelope. But is, didn't I read something about the president wants to get rid of the Postal Service? I guess I better hurry. I might not have all 21 days. Please use the prepaid, pre-addressed USPS primary priority mail envelope I've enclosed to rush an emergency campaign contribution of 35, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1,000, or even $5,000 by April 6th, plus or minus 21 days. Let me tell you why your support is so urgent. As you read this letter... The America we love is being torn apart by a growing faction of leftist dissidents and extremists who have gained control of the Democrat Party. The Democrat Party. Because we Republicans like to call them the Democrat Party because they get mad when we do. It's not the Democrat Party, it's the Democratic Party, but... We call them the Democrat Party because it makes them mad. And after all, it's not the Republicanic Party. It's the Republican Party, so it should be the Democrat Party. And we are determined, oh, they are determined to radically change our nation. 
our nation. It's not their nation. It's our nation, and they are determined to radically change it. And with control of the White House and our entire government on the line, these radical groups are greatly ratcheting up their extremist propaganda and fake news to further, over please, intensify the divisiveness they need to win control of our government and our lives. I'm sure you remember the Democrats' despicable treatment of Justice Brett Kavanaugh during his confirmation hearing. Now they are doing the same thing to President Trump. You know what I'm really doing here is I'm trying out, this is an audition, to record Republican Campaign Committee uh, commercials. I have done Republican commercials in the past, I, and I am not loath to admit it. I'm a voice whore. Anything you want me to read, pay me enough money. Happy to do it. Since the minute President Trump was elected President of the United States, the Democrats and their friends in the liberal media have had only one goal in mind, doing and saying whatever they can to get him out of the White House. Their witch hunts have led nowhere. And I believe Americans are tired of it. All Americans, all real Americans, all red-blooded Americans. Yet, as harsh as these never-ending attacks have been, they're only going to get worse in the months ahead as the Democrats ramp up their partisan attacks, deceitful propaganda, and divisive statements aimed at tearing down President Trump and our party. Yes, our party, because I apparently... Am I Republican? Am I still? Let me, let me check. Yep. Well, uh, maybe. I may, maybe still. A, I was checking my title. Still said Republican. Maybe. And now where was I? Oh yes. The Democrats and their radical extremist allies. Who are they? Who are the radical extremist allies that aren't willing to call themselves Democrats? Well, maybe you know Bernie's Democratic Socialists. I guess. I guess. Communists? We still have a few of those around. The Democrats and their radical extremist allies are holding President Trump's agenda hostage and putting their own political interests ahead of the good of our country. Because if you're a Democrat, your interests can't be for the good of the country. I mean, they're not even Americans, are they? Not really. I mean, they're not real Americans. They're not, they're not our Americans. They work overtime to raise and spend hundreds of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars to defeat President Trump in November. No, I didn't read that right. As they work overtime to raise all that money, we Republicans must work just as hard to ensure that he wins a second term and that we elect Republicans all across the country. Now, they've got to work just as hard as Democrats. But that shouldn't be hard because they're always accusing Democrats of being lazy and just sitting back and taking government handouts. So you really don't have that much work to do. <laughs> I mean, we, we Republicans, really don't have that much work to do. We're okay. Most importantly, we, make, we must make sure this campaign is about the issues. Sure, watch. Watch carefully for that. They're going to stick carefully to the issues. We must break through the propaganda machine of the Democrats and the media, the media, to fully expose the Democrats' costly big government socialist agenda and ensure that voters do not fall victim to their budget-busting, freedom-destroying, pie-in-the-sky promises. Well, they keep saying socialist agenda. And uh, this came out, I think, before Bernie Sanders dropped out of the race. Although, at that point, Pretty sure it looked like Joe Biden was going to be the guy. Is he a socialist? Does he have a socialist agenda? I mean, that's one of the problems some of us have with him. He's not socialist enough. The good news, unfortunately, oh, there's good news. The good news is that with each attack they launch on the president, Democrats show just how much they are out of touch with sensible, freedom-loving Americans like you. Oh, like like. Me. Written, this is written to me. <laughs> this is a long letter. As the Democrats 
that as the Democratic presidential candidates, oh yeah, this is really old, because there's, no, there's really only one now. And even back when they wrote this, there would have been only two. As the Democratic and April 6th, well, no, it's by April 6th. This must have come out sometime before that. Because, I mean, he's saying as the Democratic president, presidential candidates crisscross the, crisscross the country. And, of course, nobody's doing that anymore. The, the, all the candidates' uh, campaigns were suspended a long time ago. <clears throat> well, at, at least in, in terms of travel. Nobody was doing any moving around, even Biden and Bernie. So this, I, I apologize, this is really old. That 21 days may have expired. It may be too late for us to send an emergency contribution to the Republicans. That's, that's sad. It should have been more on the ball. As the Democratic presidential candidates crisscross the country, backing trillion-dollar programs such as <laughs> Medicare for all. <laughs> trillion-dollar programs. How many trillion dollars are we now going to spend to bail out the whole country? Hundreds of trillions. Um, as the Democratic presidential candidates crisscross the country backing trillion-dollar programs such as Medicare for All, the Green New Deal, and free college tuition. And I believe that was pretty much Bernie and uh, Elizabeth Warren. Others, not so much. Some. Some. Uh, I mean, I don't think very many of them had signed on to the Green New Deal. And definitely Medicare for All, that was Bernie and Elizabeth Warren. That was pretty much it. Uh, as they call for open borders and the elimination of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency. I think they're, they're pulling all this right from AOC. Pretty much direct. As they promote... Okay. Oh, this is a list here. i got to read it like a list. As they crisscross. As they promote changing the makeup of the Supreme Court. Oh, that's anti-American. And rewriting the rules of the Electoral College. The Electoral College that elected Donald Trump, even though he lost the popular vote by several million votes, as they support changing the voting age to 16. I haven't seen a lot of that. As they talk of other far-fetched socialist policies and ideas that would drastically forever change our nation, they are proving repeatedly how eager they are to destroy America's long-standing freedoms and institutions. I am grateful that President Trump is a strong, confident leader who is delivering on his campaign promises. He understands the threat to our country and doesn't hesitate to do what's necessary to, to, to conquer, to confront and conquer them. I should have, I should have read all this before. It's, it's tough to go through comedy and not break up. Um, he came into office promising to take on and destroy Washington's swamp. <laughs> and he's delivering on that promise. Yes, he has been. Oh. He has filled the swamp with a whole new set of alligators. For President Trump to expand his strong record of growing the economy, ushering in... Next page, please. This is long. Ushering in... Nothing on that side. Historic low unemployment. <laughs> Definitely did not get this done on time. Protecting our nation's borders. That's why there's no coronavirus in the country at this time. Cutting federal regulations, you know, like the EPA. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Maybe the last one you can. Appointing record numbers of conservative federal judges. Oh, he has done that. Expanding opportunities for all Americans. Well, all real Americans building a stronger military and implementing an aggressive foreign policy. He needs you, by which he means me, standing right by his side or within appropriate social distancing from this day forward. Right now, we are quite literally in a battle for the future of America to ensure that our nation continues on a path to greatness. We must stand together in the coming months and fight to keep the Democrats from capturing complete control of our government and turning our nation into a big government socialist country. By re-electing Donald Trump and all our other Republican candidates this November. But 
Mr. Pierce, we need your help to do it. We must make sure the RNC has the funds to build a state-of-the-art political machine unsurpassed in American politics. You love the thought of political machines that are unsurpassed in American politics. That warms the cockles of my heart. That will ensure we maintain the White House and our U.S. Senate majority and capture a majority in the U.S. House of Representatives. So please, use the enclosed, postpaid, and pre-addressed USPS priority mail envelope. And you better hurry because there might not be a USPS to deliver that envelope if our president has his way. And for those of you looking at the audio, listening to the audio, I'm holding up the priority mail envelope to the screen. I'll probably get, go to the website, triangletalkshow.com. I, I steal some pictures from the, uh, from the video and just put them up there. Some still pictures. I'm sure, I think I'll be able to find that one. Um, so uh, use that envelope to rush your emergency contribution of <coughs> 35, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1,000, 5,000, or whatever you can send at this time. The contribution you send today will help ensure the RNC can meet their fundraising goals and have the funds to fight back. Because <coughs> it's important because, you know, typical Republicans, they don't have a lot of money. It's not the party of big business. Oh, wait. <laughs> it is. It's critical that we set the record straight on how President Trump and our nation uh, has put our nation on a solid winning track and has, in, in his own words, reawakening American pride, American confidence, and American greatness. That's one of the better Trumps I've done. I have, I have trouble with Trump. If I, if I read somebody else's words quoting Trump, maybe I can do it okay. Mr. Pierce, to stop the radical Democrats who want to take down President Trump and all that you and I believe in, we must have a powerful RNC, backed by proud and loyal Americans like you, like me. Elections have consequences. Oh, boy, howdy. Elections have consequences. And that is truer now than ever before. Uh, through their words and actions, the Democrats prove every day that they are determined to take our country down a far-reaching, destructive, radical, socialist path. It is critical that you help us stop them. It's your future. Hey, hey it's your future. <laughs> it's America's future. And we cannot afford to sit back and do nothing. Please, let me hear from you soon. We need you with us. Wait a minute. That wasn't enough. There's a P.S. P.S. <clears throat> Mr. Pierce, the RNC must raise $7.3 million in the next 21 days. Very specific number. <clears throat> Big number. Specific number, specific time frame. I've been seeing that a lot in my Facebook feed. Uh, a lot of, of, you know, vote now and send money now and buy Midnight tonight, your your uh, your vote counts or whatever whatever they're trying to get me to do, but it's got to be by midnight tonight. And then guess what comes up tomorrow? <clears throat> Same thing. Um, seven point three million dollars in the next twenty one days to ensure that it has the critical funds necessary to help President Trump and all our Republican candidates. This is the same thing he said up there. I don't know why they added the P.S. because it's the same thing they've been saying. Uh, to compete against the billion-dollar Democrat fundraising juggernaut. They're really praising Democrats and their fundraising prowess. Um, Dem Democrats must have something going, I guess, if they can put together billion-dollar fundraising. <laughs> I, can't, I can't help you that much, Republicans. I'm not going to get you at a billion dollars. Please return the emergency campaign contribution. Oh, wait. Of... 35, 50, 100. I'm not making this up. It's right, it's right there. I'm showing the camera the letter. Of 35, 50, 100, 250, 500, 1,000, or $5,000 in a prepaid, a pre addressed USPS priority envelope today. Thank you very much for your support. So now I got this envelope. <clears throat> it's a uh, 
flat rate envelope, one rate, any weight, prepaid. It said pre-addressed. Oh, yeah, there, there's the address. It's on that side. And uh, no postage necessary if mailed in the United States. The question is, what do I put in it? It's not a box. I can't put a brick in it. My mind is going to, to many things. Some of them probably would get me arrested if they can find their way back to me. I have to figure it out. What can I send back to them? Sorry, it's not going to be by April 6th, but there's no cutoff date on the business reply mail. It can, it can go any time. Um, domestic only. When used internationally, a customs declaration label may be required. Thank you, Lindsey Graham. Appreciate that. You wrote a show for me. And that will be it. Because he is done and I am done. Um, uh, episode 84, politics. I'm a Republican. Well, depends on what I put in that envelope and send it on back. So why, why do they keep thinking I'm a Republican? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, it could be a mailing list I got on years and years ago when I attended my one and only John Locke Foundation meeting, and I must have filled out my address for something because I started getting the Carolina Journal, which is a conservative weekly newspaper-ish thing. Propaganda uh, delivery system disguised as journalism. It's the, it's the local and print edition of Fox News. Um, and uh, ever since then, that, that John Locke meeting, uh, I've been getting that. And probably they shared or sold their mailing list. And so I get, I don't get very many. <laughs> I don't get much from the Democratic Party. Uh, a little bit on my Facebook, but uh, not in the mail. But the Republicans, they're in my mailbox. So thank you, Lindsey Graham. Oh, I'm a Republican, question mark? Yeah, apparently. April 16th, 2020, episode 84. It is politics. And uh, yes, I'm Gary Pierce. Republican, maybe. Maybe. Don't know. Maybe. but Yeah, don't know, but maybe. Let me get ready to shut things down here. Very difficult on YouTube. YouTube needs me to punch a whole lot of buttons before I can shut things down. So let me get ready for that. Here's, here's my shut down Ustream, YouTube's stream button. This thing called end stream. And uh, I'm ready to push it. Goodbye, YouTube. Goodbye, Facebook. Goodbye, Americans. Over and out. <laughs>